All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and preface this video um, with this, you know, a subtle disclaimer. I'm not exactly a, an expert car magician. I'm just kind of somebody who's, you know, enthusiastic about the uh, about the topic and whatnot. So I, knew, I do know a couple things. Um, so I'm going to basically dissect and break down what I believe to be the methods that David Blaine used in order to do um, this effect and then show you guys a couple ways that you can do this at home as well. All right, so the way the trick actually starts out is... Um, let's look at the deck. So the deck is obviously all filled up with six of diamonds. That isn't an illusion or anything. He really does have all those sixes of diamonds. But I'm going to use the trick. Just imagine for you know video purposes' sake that these are all six of diamonds, and then uh, all these diamond, all these red cards are six of diamonds. Now, the way he does the trick, and I'll explain a little bit more in detail as I go along. He takes the three of clubs. Okay, this the card the spectator chooses, and he puts that in the seventh position. Um, so he'll basically have six, six, six of diamonds on top of that, and then obviously everything else is also just pretend it's a six of diamonds. So at this point, you're wondering, okay, so he dealt out, you know, he had Jamie Fox deal all the cards he wanted to out of his hand, and how did he get Jamie Fox um, to do so? Basically, there's a uh, slight principle, and I'm gonna leave a link on the screen to uh, Fernando's channel. I don't know if he still uploads or not, but he has a really good video on a psychological force where basically. It's 70% of the time that you have a spectator deal cards out. You say, okay, go ahead and deal out cards and then stop whenever you like. The moment you stop talking, the spectator is 70% of the time likely to stop at four or five cards. So once you say stop and you're quiet, they're more than likely going to stop at four or five, especially if you're telling them to go slow. Um, and that's what David Blaine does in there. So it's not a full, it's not a foolproof trick. So at any time, I mean, Basically, Jamie Foxx could have dealt less than those amount of cards, and perhaps, you know, David kind of would have had to go into a different effect. So, obviously, David Blaine's a smart guy, and if Jamie Foxx doesn't do what he wants him to do, he's going to lead the trick somewhere else. All right, guys, I wanted to give you a quick um, editing side note. I noticed um, what I said in the video, basically, about uh, David Blaine leading the trick into somewhere else. But, um, in reality, if the spectator even picked less cards than um, getting to you know the seventh position where the where the uh, three of clubs is at then the trick is still actually going to work so I'll give you guys a few examples so let's say David Blaine deals out the cars and he deals down right one two three and then he says stop you know whatever you want and let's say he deals down in this case let's do one two so that's five cards so then two more cards down we are going to have the the uh, three of clubs, right? So if he only deals two more cards, right? Now, even if he deals one more card, even if he deals just four cards down, David Blaine can still do, in this case, a triple lift and get the spectators three of clubs and then still end up giving him one of the other cards, right? So in this case, let's say if he deals five cards, it's even easier. All David Blaine does is a simple double lift, fills the card over, gives it to the spectator, and it's, you know, the other one. Let's say he deals um, just right on the money, right? I mean, he can deal six cards down and get left with the three of clubs, give it to the spectator, and the trick basically works the way it should. Obviously, there won't be any sort of crazy, um, you know, card changing when once the card's in Jamie Foxx's hand, but the trick will still work either way. So in any situation, I believe David Blaine does have this trick covered um, to work exactly the way he needs to. So as the trick begins, he tells Jamie to go ahead and deal the cards out onto the table. One, two, three. And he deals, sorry, into somebody else's hand. He deals three cards and David Blaine the whole time is telling him slow, slow, slow. And the moment Jamie gets to three cards, David Blaine says, okay, stop whenever you want. So, you know, Jamie's hand's on the fourth card. And he says, okay, stop whenever you want. You're gonna deal them one at a time, slowly, face and down, into a small pile, way. slowly. <laughs> and I wrote something in his hand, slowly, slowly, slow, 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 into a small pile. And then Jamie, stop whenever you want. And from this point, once David emphasized stop on the fourth card, Jamie deals out four more cards. So four, one, two, three, four. So he sets the cards down. Now this is, this is a perfect scenario. Um, David Blaine actually got him to stop, you know, at the fifth card exactly. It's probably what he really wanted him to do also. Um, and to be fair, guys, David has probably performed this effect to a bunch of other people before and practiced this force and, you know, really, you know, dialed, dialed down and figured out what card people were most likely to stop at. And this is probably where he got, um, you know, the number five from, the way he did the trick. Wherever you want. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. 
Boom, stop. you're done? done. So from here, it just leads into a double lift. So perfectly for David Blaine, all he has to do is come over and get a uh, pinky count on the bottom two cards. And he shows it to the spectator and says, okay, so here's your card, the three of clubs. Hold on to that. He's really giving him a fake six of diamonds, or he's giving him a six of diamonds, actually. And the three of clubs is still on top of the deck. So at this point, what he does is he show he grabs the other guy's wrist that says not the six of diamonds, and he shows it um, to everybody's hand, right? He, or he shows a hand to everybody. And everyone's looking at the spectator's wrist, and all David has to do is move the deck towards his jacket and then palm the card, right? So he's palming the card, he puts that away, and then he comes back with um, this deck. So look, you stopped right here, right? Right. Look what I wrote, look what I, here. So this is your card? Yeah. Yeah? Um, hold that. Okay. Three of clubs? Three of clubs. Show them what I wrote in your hand, show it to them. Show everybody. Okay, so some quick math for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put the three of clubs back on top of the deck. When he, Jamie Foxx, dealt all the cards out, there was a total of eight cards, right? And then technically, he should have a total of seven cards left, right? He had eight cards dealt out. He gave Jamie Foxx one of them. David should have a total of seven cards in his hands. But in reality, at the end of the trick, when he shows and reveals all of the cards that were actually six of diamonds, you know, in the small packet of cards, he's only left with six, which just kind of reinforces the idea that he palmed the card and took it away. You would have gone one card more, it would have been yeah. the six. Wait, oh. but hold on, no, look, if you would have gone one card more here, oh. would have been the six, no, if you would have gone here, 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 oh. here, no, but look. Okay, so that's basically the gist of the trick. Now, if there's any skeptics out there that are thinking, okay, well, you know, what if he went past? You know, what if, what if Jamie Foxx didn't stop at five, okay? Um, but let's say, for instance, he doesn't necessarily have to nail the number five. If Jamie, you know, dealt out a total of nine or even 10 cards, perhaps, David Blaine can still come away with the trick. So let's say, okay, Jamie Foxx deals down three cards, David Blaine tells him to stop, uh, but he keeps going until he deals out a total of nine cards, right? So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At this point, um, David Blaine could just do a triple lift. So he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't exactly have to nail the perfect double lift. He could come over and grab three cards uh, with his pinky, which obviously he's a lot better at than me, but he'll grab three cards and he'll say, okay, so it looks like you stopped me at the three of clubs, right? Give them the fake card and then all he does is has to take away two cards from the top of the deck. Because obviously now the three of clubs is two cards down, not just one. And he's going to go ahead and put the cards away in his, in his little pocket, come back, and then, you know, trick's pretty much over. And the audience is not going to notice the discrepancy between you taking out two cards. And even if he dealt out 10 cards, I'm sure David Blaine would be able to do a quadruple lift of some sort and come away with that as well. He is very, very talented. But that's how I believe he did the trick. Um, so anyways, guys, if you want to learn how to do this at home, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick couple tips. Okay, so obviously since none of us just have, you know, 52 uh, six of diamonds laying around. If you want, you guys could basically just take, if you have two decks of cards, um, two decks of cards with the same color, so in this case, if you had two blue decks, you could just take all the red cards out and just have uh, 52 red cards from you know the same color deck and whatnot. That could work, and if you don't have that, then you could just do the trick with just 26 red cards and one black card. So you can do the same exact effect. Try it out and let me know how it goes. And don't forget to check out Fernando's channel. I don't know if he still uploads, but um, he is very, very good at what he does. And basically, you know, he was the one that kind of gave me the insight into this whole 70%, you know, five card psychological force. So check him out. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.